it's Shell with Tangi Library, Baby and Me, and welcome back to the A Meat Branch where we are doing bear story times for a couple of weeks. It was supposed to be all of September was bear month, but Ida gave us some other plans. So we're just going to dive in and pretend it's still September, right? We got one more week, so we're going to do bears. All right, let's start with our hello song. Um, we're going to start always with our nose. And then we're going to pat our head. And then because the sign language for bear is to cross your arms and scratch your shoulders, we're going to scratch our shoulders. And then the last one is always, where's your belly button? And we're going to boop our belly. Okay? All right. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you pat your head? Pat your head, pat your head. Well, hello everybody, can you pat your head? Pat your head. Good job. All right, now we're gonna scratch our shoulders like a bear. Well, hello everybody, can you scratch your shoulders? Scratch your shoulders, scratch your shoulders. Well, hello everybody, can you scratch your shoulders? Scratch your shoulders. And last one, where's your belly button? Well, hello everybody, can you boop your belly? Boop your belly, boop your belly. Well, hello everybody, can you boop your belly? Boop your belly. Good job. Okay, so this month our color is brown because guess what color a lot of bears are? Not all bears are. Um, we're going to learn about several different kinds of bears that are not brown. Um, but I wanted to do this one. That way we know. But look, what else is brown? A puppy dog. And what does a puppy dog say? Woo, 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 right? And then we have an owl. What's an owl say? Hoo, hoo. And then there's a football, which... We are getting into football season, I know, because my husband is yelling at the TV. Does your dad do that? Is it kind of weird? A little bit. Then we have a snake. Snake. And it goes, makes the S sound. And then the best thing in this entire card, cookies. Cookies are brown. Okay. And to do the letter brown, we go up and down with the B. So that's you tuck your thumb in and you just go up and down right to one side of your mouth. Okay? Make sure you go up and down and, and not a different way because the B is a lot of different words by your mouth. So it's just dependent on which way your hand goes. So it has to go up and down. Okay? All right. And then our, whoop, Shell just knocked her book over. Our shape is a circle. Okay, and there's a lot of things that are circles like a clock or a lemon or a donut, which we're going to do a donut craft in a few weeks. And again, favorite cookies, right? It's just cookie month. We need more cookies after a hurricane, I've just decided. And my favorite, which is bubbles. So bubble, bubble, bubble. That's bubbles in sign language. And we do a circle by putting our fingers together at the top. And just make it a circle. And you can make it however big you want. You can just do a little circle. Or you could do a big circle. And either way, it all does the same thing. Okay? All right. So our craft this week is a super fun little bear mask. And you can pick this up at all six Tangy Library branches starting today. Um, and I do not look nearly as cute as my Haley. So in the directions, you're going to see Haley's pretty face in the bear mask that she made for us to show off. And it's got paint. It's got the ears already cut out. And then you can be a bear all through all our very bear story times with me. Okay? All right. So we are going to read about Friendly Day. And who's the big guy right here? That's a bear, right? Now, it's got a lot of different animals. It's got a dog and a cat and a mouse. And as we go through, you'll meet bunches of different animals. This is by Mitch Kelly and Charles Fuge. And the publisher that is giving us permission to read this is Barron's Books, and we're so thankful for them. When Cat caught Mouse outside his house, Courageous Mouse cried, Hey! Put down that plate and see the date. It's friendly day today. A day for sharing, a day for caring, when everyone is nice. 
When frog reads snail, a fairy tale, and cats do not eat mice. Well, fancy that, exclaimed the cat. I'll have to spread the word. He quickly strode across the road and told Dog what he'd heard. Dog stared wide-eyed and then replied, That's such a great idea! You mean to say, today's the day, the one day of the year? When parakeets bring tigers treats and rhino takes the time to knit new mittens for helpless kittens and sing them nursery rhymes. Do you think rhinoceroses can knit? I don't know. Cat cried, yes, yes, and sharks play chess with all the little fishes, and old gray moose pours orange juice for anyone who wishes. And even mole comes out of his hole to play I spy with goat, and chimpanzee makes herbal tea for ostriches' sore throat. All the animals are doing it. Dog said, oh boy, what joy, what joy, and hip hip hooray. He called, hey bear, are you aware today is friendly day? When foxes croon all afternoon to entertain the geese, and little birds tweet tweet soothing words of hope and love and peace. Bear scratched his head, and then he said, it is a lovely thought to think that we could ever be as kindly as we ought. To think balloon, baboons hand out balloons to all the butterflies makes tears of bliss and happiness come pouring from my eyes. But dog, said Bear, are you aware there's really no such thing as friendly day or any day when wasps and bees don't sting? I must insist, it doesn't exist. It is a lovely lie, poor dog. Poor cat, they hated that, and they both began to cry. Inside his house, the tiny mouse was glad he'd slipped away. He tricked the cat, but now he sat and longed for friendly day. Meanwhile, outside, the dog still cried. The bear gave him a pat. Oh, do cheer up, my dearest pup. I have a plan, he told cat. We'll talk to snail and snake and whale. We'll put the world to rights. We'll make them see how things could be if only no one fights. Dog thought of how the friendly cow might help a crocodile, how centipedes might do good deeds, and he smiled a watery smile. Then arm in arm with old world charm and so much to be done, the three friends strode off down the road towards the setting sun. And for today, that is going to be it and all. And you are going to have to come back next week to do our Bubble Bubble Pop song. I love you and I miss you. I cannot wait until we're back live and in person. So watch the Tangy Library website so you know when you can come play in Bubbles and have a good time. I love you. Mwah. Bye.